everyone, this is Joe, and welcome to another episode of Joe DeRay's Cooks. Today, I will show you how to make beans and greens a la vodka. These ingredients work great together. The heat of the red pepper flakes and vodka, the sweetness of the tomato, and the richness of the heavy cream. And that combination works just as well with beans and greens. Use chickpeas or white beans and kale or any other greens, like Swiss chard, broccoli rabe, or baby spinach. For this recipe though, I am using white cannellini beans and kale. You can eat it on its own with crusty bread for dunking or over pasta. You can even add chunks of chicken sausage or chorizo if you like. And if you want to make it vegan, you can substitute cashew cream or coconut cream for the heavy cream. The finished dish keeps for up to three days in the refrigerator. And if you try this recipe, send me an email at joederacecooks at gmail.com or write a comment below this video and let me know how yours came out or if you tried something different. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube page. As I always say, let's stop talking and let's start cooking. This is what you'll need. Three tablespoons of olive oil, one onion, finely chopped, four garlic cloves, finely chopped, salt, one 16 ounce can of tomato paste, a quarter cup of vodka, half teaspoon of red pepper flakes, two 15 ounce cans of white cannellini beans, drained but not rinsed, one bunch of kale, ribs removed, leaves torn or coarsely chopped, a quarter cup of heavy cream, and grated Parmesan cheese as needed. In a large pot or Dutch oven, Heat the olive oil over medium-high. Add the onion and garlic, season them with salt, and cook, stirring occasionally until softened, about three to five minutes. Add the tomato paste, vodka, and red pepper flakes. Cook, stirring until the tomato paste is a shade darker and starts to stick to the bottom of the pot, about two to three minutes. Now add two cups of water, the beans, and the kale, seasoned with salt, and bring to a simmer. Reduce the heat to maintain a simmer, cover, and cook until the liquid is flavorful and the kale is tender, about seven to 10 minutes. Remove it from the heat and stir in the heavy cream. Taste and see if it needs more salt. Stir in some grated Parmesan. And now it's ready to serve. Serve with more Parmesan on top. Here we go. Mmm. This is fantastic. This is so good. The beans give it a lot of protein. There's a little kick to it with the red pepper flakes. I highly recommend this. Send me an email. Let me know how yours comes out at joederayscooks at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.